Hey fellow Super. tennis nerds, I've been playing tennis with a wooden spoon lately. Only for 10-15 minutes while warming up though, it's a training tool, it's not supposed to be a racket you actually play with. This training tool was made famous by Czech coach Jiri Bartos and the video with the talented boy player Jonas Foretek and they were hitting ground strokes and this video uh, went viral uh, partly thanks to Functional Tennis who are also selling this tool now. Uh, it's also sold by MSV. It's handmade in the Czech Republic. It comes in two different weights. One for players of more than 10 years old up to adults and one for the ages 6 to 10. The idea behind this tool is to improve contact point, force you to work on your footwork and the ball toss of your serve. It's very easy to swing uh, with a low swing weight, so for you to impact the ball in a good way you need optimal timing. It was quite frustrating to get used to this thing because it takes time to just hit the ball properly. The racket face is so small it barely covers the ball, which means you really need to watch the ball and stay active with your feet. Take some time getting used to. After you've hit with it for a short while, uh, picking up a normal racket feels relatively effortless and I think that's the whole point. One issue for me is that the feel on contact contact with wood against the ball feels a bit harsh and it does create a weird thwock sound. I would have preferred a softer impact material especially since I have a sensitive arm so don't play with this racket for more than 10-15 minutes to warm up. But I've also been getting a really nice sensation of not being able to miss the ball when I warmed up with this racket. One hitting session was almost like a religious experience when I went from the tennis spotter to my uh, prestige. Can't promise every time would be like that, uh, but that session really made me believe in the product. I do think this is a nice tool to improve your tennis, uh, but use it with caution. You also need a patient hitting partner because you will shank the ball. So it's probably better to arrive to the court early and use it against the wall if possible. I think kids can really benefit from using this tool as they work on their strokes but make sure they don't overdo it as it's not great for arm comfort. For regular weekend players, intermediate rec players you will need a lot of patience to practice with this thing but if you do you will likely bear some nice fruits from it and your regular racket will feel very easy to play with. There are a few options to this um, tennis spotter if you don't like the wood feel there was once the legendary Prince God racket back in the day with the 20 square inch head size that was made for a commercial. But now there's also the Tolson Sweet Area rackets with a 60 square inch head size and two different weights, 280 and 320 gram. So there are options. It's apparent that uh, many coaches think that this is a good way to improve your sweet spot and your footwork. So um, why not give it a try? I really enjoy mine. I'm taking it out once in a while just to work on my footwork and my contact point. Thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd review. As always, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Please share it with your tennis friends. You can also get a racket recommendation service through our website tennisnerd.net slash shop. And you can subscribe to us on Patreon where you get a lot of behind the scenes content and stuff that is not available on tennisnerd.net, only for two bucks a month. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. Hey fellow tennis nerds, so I've been playing with the functional tennis wooden spoon and it's been a bit of a challenge at first, enjoying it more and more. You start 10-15 minutes before your tennis session and it feels very easy as soon as you pick up your normal racket. I had a really nice uh, experience a few days ago when I played with this for 15 minutes and then I picked up the prestige and the racket just felt just like huge and I could not miss. So uh, I'm quite quite happy with this. I was skeptical at first. Had some issues with the feel of the wood and that's still a bit of an issue. I think it's not great if you're suffering from a tennis elbow or a sore wrist. So 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then you go back to your normal racket and you play normal tennis. But really nice tool. I actually enjoy it quite a bit. Thanks, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.